ever been to. It's really, 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 I can't, can I swear? Fucking hot, really hot. Who's Who from Toronto's vibrant nightlife scene showed up at the exclusive VIP opening of the hotly anticipated new club Circa. Circa is the brainchild of Cornwall, Ontario native turned New York City club kid guru Peter Gation. Despite setbacks including a notorious battle with the Ontario Liquor Board over their license, Circa flew open their doors to give people a chance to let their freak flags fly and of course the gays were out in full force and looking glamorous as usual. Circa is a huge four-story club with over 55,000 square feet to party in. It even has its own bar in the bathroom complete with DJ. With several bars in every floor, you don't have to walk far to get a drink as you go between Circa's many engaging public art installations. Or you can even take a break inside Circa's film screening lounge. No matter where you are inside Circa, there's always something you can't help but watch. Among those soaking up the eye candy were Extra's own culture vulture, Anna Pornikova, who wrangled a queer viewpoint on Toronto's new adult playground. Would you consider this a spot you come every Friday or Saturday? If I was a gay man, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> but not for the gay ladies? I don't know. Get Melissa Etheridge in here. Maybe a little Tegan and Sarah, a little Arf in here. We're good to go. <laughs> no, uh, maybe a Michigan Women's Festival after party. <laughs> um, actually, all of Michigan Women's Music Festival could probably fit in here. You know, Toronto, we, there's no, you can't dance on Church Street. There's no dancing. There's no dance clubbing allowed, even though we do on, sm on a smaller level. So maybe this is exactly what Toronto is looking for as far as a big gay club with representation for, for queer people to come and spin and for queer artists to show their talents. One of the wranglers of interesting and queer talent at Circa is scene queen extraordinaire Roland Chambers. Uh, since, it's, since its inception, um, the owner of the club, Peter Gation, his mandate is to include um, queers into the fold in terms of management and organization. Um, in that way, he sees um, a, a, a strong queer presence. Um, since his early days in the 80s, uh, Peter's always sort of uh, um, been in the company of gay men and women. He loves the fags, he loves the queers. Um, he finds them, uh, he, well he's told me on, on, on various occasions that they're the ones that sort of uh, make up the energy of, of any good club. Um, so that's what he's trying to do. So he hired me about a year and a half ago to come in and help him bring in the gay market. Um, since then, in terms of management and organization, we've had um, Matt Sims, who's a young up-and-coming up and promoter, um, now works for um, the venue, Steve Arison, who's been in the scene for over 20 years. Um, he's organized many different parties, he's uh, managed many different clubs, like five um, in the past, so he knows the scene, so he's now involved in as well. We have um, John Walk, who's an old queen as well, he's now part of the club as well. Um, designing clothing, bringing in fashion designers. Um, so in terms of management and organization, there are, are four, I would say, prominent, strong, willed, opinionated gay people involved within the structure of the club. Whether Circa Nightclub will become the new home for queer party goers is up to the community. But with so many queers involved at every turn, we're certainly welcomed.